This is Duke University. Now black turnout in North Carolina was relatively high. So the margin of victory for Tillis basically came from those folks that were disaffected. That this is an anti-incumbent um, environment. I don't think I would see it as a pro-Republican environment as much as it is an anti-government, an anti-Washington, an anti-Obama. Democrats still hold a registration advantage over Republicans in North Carolina, which means in order for Tillis to have been elected, there had to be a number of Democrats and independents who voted for Tillis, if you just look at registration numbers. What I think it says is that North Carolina kind of goes back and forth. I still see us as more of a purple state than a red state. I think those North Carolina Republican representatives will probably try and push things through that might help North Carolina. But the question becomes, are they going to focus on that? Or are they going to focus on trying to do damage to the last two years of President Obama's presidency? If they focus on the latter, then North Carolina um, voters and residents will lose out because the focus will be on can we get President Obama as opposed to can we get things done that will benefit the state. So we'll have to see.